barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Since this uh, Andre Ward week, he fights this Saturday, in case you don't know, in Oracle Arena. It's not really being publicized, but uh, he fights this Saturday. I know the true boxing fans know about this fight, but um, I want to talk about a story that's actually true that was swept under the rug in relation to the reason we're what makes him bring up this story is obviously Ward versus Kovalev and uh, the Triple G press conference. It kind of sparked my, it, it, it jugged my memory. A few years ago, or yeah, a few years ago, some time ago, Triple G was sparring Kovalev. And these are facts. And I know people get mad about revealing sources but the problem with revealing sources you want to keep on getting information and i've held on to this information for quite a long time uh, triple g was sparring kovalev and they're sparring they're sparring triple g knocked kovalev down with a body shot dominated kovalev um flat out dominated him and uh Kovalev wanted no more of Triple G. And to me, this answers a lot of questions about these upcoming fights uh, as it relates to Kale Brook, Triple G, Andre Ward, Kovalev. Kale Brook has, I believe, Kale Brook has no chance. Kovalev, I believe, has no chance. And you guys know how I feel about Kovalev. You know, I despise that man. Um... I need to stop using the word hate because it it uh, it triggers so much like uh, spiritual energy in me. I I, I don't want to use that word, but I despise him greatly, and uh, I just want the boxing public to know of this story because people are hailing Kovalev as this mean monster, um, king of boxing. When in actuality, a guy who weighs who fights excuse me who fights at 160 pounds knocked him down and made him quit with a body shot so um uh and there's another light heavyweight cruiserweight that he absolutely destroyed knocked him down six times and sparring triple g i can't think of the russian guy's name but uh he and kovalev they run together he's uh i believe he trains with uh he trains with uh abel sanchez can't think of the guy's name excuse me but um uh, so Kovalev is a is a coward, is a uh, is a shark with no teeth, a bully with no fists. You know, I'm just so I can't wait for November 19th. I'm gonna cover that fight as strong as I can, from an emotional, personal perspective. And that fight week, my channel probably will be slanted. I'm gonna apologize in advance and apologize now. I don't like Kovalev, don't like him at all. So the questions I ask his team will be slanted and maybe. You know, well, I'm racist, I'm being black. Who gives a fuck? I personally don't care. Uh, that probably be the only time where I don't ask balanced questions. Not the only time, but one of the, some of the few times where I have a personal agenda to ask selfish questions to get the answer that I want and get the, and more importantly, get the, uh, try and paint a picture of this monster that HBO is putting money behind. So, uh, can't wait for Triple G to beat uh, Kell Brooks, and I can't wait for Ward to destroy Kovalev, which I'm hoping that he does. So, barbershop conversation. Just a quick story that I wanted you guys to know, uh, because I know outside, outside of you know boxing, you know, no one knows this story except if you cover boxing or you're a trainer. But I know my subscribers don't know this story so barbershop conversation obviously i have triple g winning and i have andre ward winning big i'm gonna try and get out there tuesday in vegas the week of november 19th tuesday is the latest wednesday just so i can make all the media events and cover that fight like i'm covering floyd mayweather manny pacquiao <laughs> so barbershop conversation guys uh i'm not going to the ward fight this weekend um just i mean for obvious reasons right and and two la is the most beautiful city in the world in the summertime um i don't give a damn where you at you're in new york miami chicago atlanta phoenix vegas it's no place like la so 
uh, barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, I, I genuinely appreciate you guys' support. And there's a story that some of you guys may not know. So talk to you guys soon. Peace.